average of levels in binary tree. Given a binary tree, consider each level in the binary tree, calculate the average in each level, and return a list of the averages in each level. We will solve this in O of n time using binary tree level order traversal, which is implemented using the algorithm breadth first search. Breadth first search is implemented using a queue. We take the root node 3 and add it to our queue. Now we have one element in our queue, and so we will iterate one time in our queue. We pop from the queue and add the node's value to the sum. Additionally, when we pop an element, we will add its children to the queue. Now notice we are done iterating one time in our queue, which means we have finish calculating the total sum at this level, so we can divide the sum by the number of iterations we did, and this will give us the average in the level, and we can append the average to the resulting list. And finally, continue to the next level. Now we have two elements in our queue, and so we will iterate two times in our queue. We pop from the queue, and add the node's value to a sum. And notice node 9 does not have any children, so we don't append to the queue. Again, we pop from the queue, and add the node's value to the sum. And since node 20 has children, we append them to the queue. Now notice we are done iterating two times in our queue, which means we have finished calculating the total sum at this level. So we can divide the sum by the number of iterations we did, and this will give us the average in the level. And we can append the average to the resulting list. And finally, continue to the next level. Now we have two elements in our queue, and so we will iterate two times in our queue. We pop from our queue and add the node's value to a sum. Notice node 15 does not have any children so we don't append to our queue. Again, we will pop from our queue and add the node's value to the sum. Notice node 7 does not have any children so we don't append to the queue. Now we have finished iterating two times in our queue, which means we have finished calculating the total sum at this level, so we can divide the sum by the number of iterations we did, and this will give us the average in the level, and we can append the average to the resulting list. And finally, we stop the algorithm when the queue is empty and we return the resulting list. And here's the code to do so. Please like and follow for more.